What is it? God miraculously provides food for the Israelites in the desert. As they're wandering, they begin to realize that the circumstances that they're in are difficult. And they're crying out to God. They're complaining about being out of Egypt where they have no no food, no water. They're struggling in the heat. Imagine wandering in the desert. But God doesn't leave them there. In fact, God has an intended purpose for why they're wandering. He's trying to teach them to rely upon him. And he wants them to rely upon him on a daily basis. And so he's going to provide food. He's going to provide this thing that eventually the Israelites call manna. And it's like a seed or a grain that they turn into bread that tastes like honey. But he's going to only provide that on a daily basis. They can't keep anything. There's nowhere to store it. What happens is if they keep it, it spoils. And so just a daily portion gets made every day. They collect it. They make cakes out of it. And they eat it. They trust that God will provide on a daily basis, except one day a week, they collect a double portion. They collect it because the next day is going to be the Sabbath. That's a day of rest, the seventh day of the week, Saturday. Now, why they do that is because they're not supposed to work on the Sabbath. The Sabbath is supposed to be holy, which means it's dedicated to give God glory. It's dedicated for his purposes. It's dedicated for his plan. The Sabbath is to be kept holy, set apart. See, what God wants them to do is understand that he will provide, that he is worthy to be worshipped, that he is good and he is righteous and he is merciful. But he is also holy. He is unique. He is worthy to be worshipped. And in that, he has provided a day for them to focus on that. In their new community, they're going to have an opportunity to worship the one true God, to be his people, to be set apart from all the nations and to be a beacon of light and, and a representation of his glory but they need to be dedicated to him. And so in their wandering in the desert, God begins to unfold this new society for them to understand that he is at the center, that the laws and the rules and the commandments that he gives them are to bring him honor and glory, to give them a purpose and a meaning in their lives. God is working in the Israelites even now in the midst of the desert, and he's teaching them that he is worthy to be trusted in, but that he is also worthy to be worshiped. And that in that, they will take a day of rest to focus and to center themselves on the one true God. Oh.